Good afternoon, my name is Andy Tran and I'm a quality engineer here at SpaceX. Welcome everyone to our live on-orbit conversation with the Inspiration4 crew. On Wednesday, September 15th at 5.02 p.m. Pacific time, the Inspiration4 crew, the world's first all-civilian human spaceflight to orbit, lifted off aboard SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon spacecraft from historic launch complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. And it has been an incredible mission so far. Inspiration4 is commanded by Jared Isaacman, sitting in the third seat from the left-hand side. He is the founder and CEO of Shift4 Payments and an accomplished pilot and adventurer. Joining him from left to right on screen are mission specialist Chris Simbroski, an Air Force veteran aerospace data engineer, mission pilot Dr. Cyan Proctor, a geoscientist, entrepreneur, and trained pilot, and on the far right-hand side, uh, medical officer Haley Arsenault, a physician assistant at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital and pediatric cancer survivor. After Falcon 9 separated from Dragon, Dragon computed, completed two uphill phasing burns to reach its intended target orbit with altitudes as high as 590 kilometers above the Earth's surface. The, the Inspiration4 astronauts then doffed or took off their spacesuits, completed on-orbit cabin configuration operations, and conducted their first round of scientific research. Before catching a few hours of sleep, they enjoyed their first meals together, one of which, one of which was pizza, which was a very surreal moment for them uh, because we heard the crew saying, and I quote, I can't believe we're eating cold pizza in space. It's extraordinary. Yesterday, the Inspiration4 crew opened the forward hatch to get their first look out of Dragon's cupola, the largest window to ever fly in space. They made a few phone calls and also recorded an event with patients of St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, which was incredible. And thank you so much to the kids who joined us for that. And in case you missed it during the live launch webcast shortly after reaching orbit, Inspiration4 crew revealed their zero G indicator at the center of your screen, a space dog plush. It was inspired by St. Jude Children's Research Hospital spe specially trained facility dogs that were on sale, but they sold out within the hour. The crew has now been in orbit, orbit for about two days and are getting ready to give a live update of their time in Dragon so far. Now, communicating with a spacecraft that is moving 17,500 miles an hour can be pretty tricky. If you've watched previous crew missions, you know that we can only talk to the crew when they're flying over a designated ground station. The amount of time that we have connectivity with the crew varies depending on the location of the ground station and the position, and the position of the spacecraft on orbit. For this particular opportunity, we, have, we expect to have the crew for about 10 minutes of connectivity to talk to Inspiration4. If for some reason we aren't able to connect with the crew on this pass, we do have another opportunity in about 30 minutes to try again. Now we are expecting the crew to join us in just a few moments, so stay with us. And the next voices you should hear should be that of uh, Jared Isaacman and the Inspiration4 crew.
Copy that, SpaceX. Welcome everybody to Crew Dragon Resilience. We're cruising right now at 580 kilometers above the Earth, going about 7.6 kilometers per second. So we're really booking. We're seeing the world every 90 minutes. That's how fast we're traveling around it. It's pretty incredible. So we're excited you're here to join us today. We're going to introduce the, the crew of Inspiration4, and then we're going to show you around some of the uh, some of the cool aspects about this uh, this spacecraft we're on right now. So pass Hey everyone, I'm Chris Zambrowski, I'm the mission specialist here, and we've been doing a lot of great things here, like uh, looking out the window at Earth, just like we're going to show you through the cupola in a moment, and uh, I hope we get to share other cool things like uh, some of the medical experiments and some of the more uh, human side of things that we've brought up here in the space with us today. So, pass it on over. Hi everyone, I'm Cyan Proctor and I am the mission pilot and I hope to show you some of the art that I've been doing in a little bit. Hey guys, thanks for joining us here on Crew Dragon. My name is Haley Arsenault. I'm the medical officer of the mission and excited to show you about the research that we've been doing as well as how much fun it is to be in microgravity. All right, so with that, what we'd like to start off, because we think the views will be pretty incredible, is we want to take you up into the cupola so you can see the largest continuous window ever flown in space and the views that it affords. And while we're getting our forward hatch open right here for this big reveal, we just want to thank everyone back at home who's been contributing to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital as part of this YouTube channel right now. So a big part of our mission here at Inspiration4 is to inspire what can be done here in space because there's an awful lot of it and we've got to get out and explore it, but also what we ha our responsibilities that we need to take care of back on Earth. And top on our list right now is conquering childhood cancer, and that's why we're supporting St. Jude. everyone. Unfortunately, we've just gone into darkness, but you can see um, right above us, over there, hopefully you're getting a good view of that, the night lights. And so every time uh, we go into darkness, we get this amazing view. Oh, that looks like the aurora. Oh, wow. We have an Aurora event, it looks like off to our right. I hope you guys can see that. We are currently over Europe. And we have been spending so much time in this cupola. We can put our head, this is the largest window ever flown in space. We can put our head in and fit multiple crew members and see the entire perimeter of the Earth, which is, gives such incredible perspective and the views, I have to say, are out of this world. So while we're getting some uh, goodies out to show you here, some of the uh, equipment we brought on board, uh, maybe we can show you about some of the science we've been doing here. So NOVA here is showing off our portable ultrasound, which we've been able to use for a number of different experiments, including uh, intrajugular, um, also uh, um, measuring our cornea and optic nerve for uh, indications on intracranial pressure. And uh, we also do a couple other scans with it as well that are quite useful. It's been really interesting to see how fluid shifts with this microgravity environment, and that's something that scientists are looking at. And so we are happy to contribute with that. We've also been taking several swabs of different parts of our body to evaluate the microbiome and how that changes in these three days in space. We've also been giving a bunch of samples, blood samples for the research teams, and as well as doing cognitive tests. Hey everyone, I have really enjoyed um, learning how to use markers in space and so I've got these metallic markers right here and uh, last, last night I drew this. Hold on just a second. So there's my rendition. <laughs> My art of the dragon capsule being carried by a dragon off of Earth. All 
Hi, everyone. So another thing that we've been doing on this whole mission, just like Sai showed off, is uh, because we're trying to open the frontier for more people and open up space to more humans, we're going to be bringing more of our humanities with us, and so uh, along with art and music, and so we have this custom uh, ukulele that was made. Uh, it's got our I-4 uh, patch there, and it's uh, right there uh, inlaid on the fretboard, so it's been a lot of fun getting some practice on some music while we're floating around the earth. So I can play a little for you, but uh, you know, you can turn your volume down if you wish, but I'll, I'll give it a shot. And it's still before coffee. It's still before coffee, so you know, it'll get better as the day goes on. One of the most fun parts of being in space is microgravity, or this lack of gravity that has enabled us to do all kinds of cool flips and spins. I shall demonstrate a few, if I can not run into too many walls. Haley is a champ at spinning. As you she's been spinning from the moment we got on orbit. I have to say it's a lot of fun and enables us to lift really heavy things without any issue. So on that note, uh, while we're in microgravity, we want to show you our zero-g indicator, which is, uh, it's got a lot of history in spaceflight. It's the first thing that kind of gets released uh, when you, when uh, engines cut off and you make it into uh, orbit. And we picked a very special uh, zero-g indicator for Inspiration4. For. So Nova's retrieving it right now and she's going to tell you a little bit about it and why it's so important to our mission. So this was the first thing that we got to throw out whenever we made it to space to show that we really were in a zero gravity environment. And um, this little guy, who's very cute, he represents the St. Jude therapy dog. So St. Jude has um, a couple of different golden retriever dogs that are able to sit with the kids when they're scared. They climb up in bed with the kids, and they'll even go through the MRI machine or the CAT scan machine before the kids do to show them that it's not so scary. And so we wanted to bring one of these really sweet dogs to space. But what's really cool is these dogs are on sale, and all the money from the sales of our zero-g indicators are going to go to St. Jude. And I mean, we have to show off some more zero gravity. Look how the water spins through this bottle. Well, thanks so much for uh, tuning in today and uh, checking in with us on Inspiration4. So we're really proud to share this experience with everyone. We know how fortunate we are to be up here. We're giving all of our time right now to science research and some ukulele playing um, and uh, trying to raise some good awareness for an important cause for us back on Earth. But um, appreciate you joining in with us, and uh, we'll see you soon. And there you have it, a live on-orbit update from the Inspiration4 crew orbiting Earth in our Dragon spacecraft. It looks like they're having an amazing time in space. Uh, the Inspiration4 crew is set to splash down tomorrow, Saturday, September 18th at approximately 4.06 p.m. Pacific time. Live webcast coverage will begin approximately one hour prior at 3 p.m. Pacific time, both on SpaceX.com and the SpaceX YouTube channel. 
Uh, as a reminder, the Inspiration 4 crew is using this mission as a fundraising effort for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. So if you're watching on YouTube, you'll see a Donate Now button on the right-hand side of the screen. If you can help the team meet their goal of $200 million, uh, we would definitely appreciate it. Thank you so much for everyone joining us today, and we hope to see you again tomorrow for Splashdown.